Then in terms of the fatigue severity scale, and before immunoabsorption it was around 3, so that's pretty bad, and then after the immunoabsorption it had moved to 5.2. So again, you know, quite a significant improvement that's going to have a good impact on day-to-day -day functioning. And then what Dr. Schlieper went on to do was to further subdivide um, these 24 patients into more severe ones and people who were more functional to begin with. And this is important because first of all we want to see pe if people who are more you know, badly affected by MECFS if they can tolerate this treatment and benefit. But also um, this is the patient population that really most needs help so it's very important to kind of quantify this. So what he did was is he divided the patients up into two groups and the people who had initially said that their uh, health, their general health, um, was between 15 to 30 percent of what they wanted to be, were put into the more severe group, and then the people who said that their, that their initial health was between 40 to 70 percent of where they wanted to be were put into um, the less severe group. And so, in this case, the results are actually also very interesting. You see that the more severe patients went from about 22 percent on average to just shy of 50%, uh, which is a huge improvement for someone in that situation. And then people who were more functional to begin with, they went from about 47% to around 67, 68%. And, you know, if you're someone who's currently pretty functional, then you're suddenly at almost 70% of where you'd like to be. Like, that's manna from heaven, uh, really.